Legionnaire Kane. Do you know what the best mindset is to overcome any difficult obstacle you face in your life? I'm not sure. I don't think about different mindsets all that often. There's a special mindset developed by the wise Stoic men of ancient Rome. It's a unique Stoic mindset that will help you overcome any unexpected or unwanted challenge you may face in your life. What's that, Tiberius? Let's call this mindset the Vulcan mindset after the fiery Roman god Vulcan. This mindset is about embracing everything that happens in your life. Not just acknowledging it, not just accepting it, but really embracing it, loving it, using it as fuel to your fire. You take on the view that no matter what event happens in your life, it is the greatest thing to happen to you and you will be better for it. You see, developing the Vulcan mindset is one of the most powerful tools you can use on this journey upward. The mountains ahead may appear large and looming, but having the right mindset will help you overcome them. This mindset brings about the best in any man in any unwanted challenges he may face in life. You see, challenges in life will occur. There'll be times when you fall, when you stumble, when you get knocked over and bad things happen. But what's important is how you react to these challenges. How you pick yourself up, how you dust off, and how you keep going. On a very specific level, the Vulcan mindset is about how you allow your mind to react to these challenging events. So your next set of real actions you undertake are as beneficial to yourself as possible. It's about minimizing the downtime after these bad things occur. It's about taking the positive from any event and using that as fuel to keep marching forward. Does that make sense? I think so. Let's run through some examples. Say you were walking home one night and you got caught out in a freezing rain downpour. Vulcan says, excellent. The coldness of the rain makes me feel fully alive and that's great. Say you got rejected by a girl after asking her out. Vulcan says, excellent. I have more time to spend on self-development until the next girl shows up. There will be more girls in the future. Say you got dropped from your college sports team. Vulcan says, fantastic. I'll use this rejection as fuel to train harder and better than anyone else on the team to get back in. Say you got beaten up by a bully at school. Vulcan says, excellent. I'll use this as motivation to hit the Temple of Iron and learn MMA to defend myself in the future. Say you lose your job in the economic recession. Vulcan says, excellent. I'll use this time to further enhance and broaden my skill set and learn something new so I'll be more valuable in the next job. Say you just woke up after spending 30 years addicted to mindless garbage. What do you say using the Vulcan mindset? I say, how great it is to be awake right now. There is no better time to be awake than right now. And there is no better time to take action than right now. How fortunate I am. Yes, great job Legionnaire Kane. You see, the point of the Vulcan mindset is to help you not dwell too long on anything bad, but instead use it as a catalyst to keep pushing forward. You never intend for these bad things to happen, but what is important is how you react when they do. It is natural to feel disappointed sometimes, but make sure you look for the positive and you convert that into fuel for your fire. Endless dwelling and moping doesn't actually help you. Taking swift, positive action to keep marching ahead is what helps you. Taking the positive and continuing your march with the self-improvement army is what helps you. Some people spend years, decades, and even the rest of their lives moping around and feeling sorry for themselves without taking action. They become lost in their own minds. And do you know who they are stealing from when they dwell and mope for so long? Who, Tiberius? Themselves and their own lives. You see, the really successful people in life embrace these challenges and use them as fuel to keep marching forward. It doesn't matter what size or shape these challenges come in, they use the Vulcan mindset to convert it all into fuel for their fire. Rejections, challenges, and bad things are all part of life. Everybody experiences them. There are two roads to choose from in life after something bad and unexpected happens. There is one road that ascends down and stops at a dark and murky swamp. This stagnant swamp is surrounded by people who take no action, but complain about endless sorrows and hardships. 
Even the frogs living down at the swamp get sick of their endless whinging. Ribbit, ribbit, enough of that whinging. Us frogs are trying to live here. And there is another path that goes through the forest of self-improvement, ascends the mountains and knocks on the very gates of Elysium itself. The upwards path of action towards Elysium is where the self-improvement army marches. We will be winning many different victories through self-improvement along the way. But using the Vulcan mindset will help you overcome those tough challenges you will face along the way. There will be much more to learn along this journey. Leave a comment with the Roman words ad victorium if you want to be featured in the next march. And with that, keep marching. Let's toast to victory! To victory! To victory! To victory! To victory! To victory. To victory. To victory.